entertainment. Fort Boyard, the ultimate test of skill, strength and courage. Fort Boyard, ultimate challenge. Our six teams must take on the fearsome challenges of the fort in a desperate battle to win keys. These keys unlock the fort's treasure chamber, where the teams must grab as much gold as they can. Friends will help you tie your shoes if they learn how to first. Hacker time. Friends won't stop and stare at you if you fall in the dirt. Oh, it's gone everywhere. Friends will stand up for you when you call your teacher mum. Friends will help you get up if you fall down on your... Hang on, I can't say bum. Right then, team, are we ready to play? Ah! Ah! Then away! Ah! Off he goes, oh, he goes, brilliant! Swashbuckle. They're straight into the food store. No time to lose. <laughs> Is that cook pouring pearls? Oh, Who will rise? Done it. Yes. Yep, that's perfect. Junior Bake Off. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Cake catastrophe. Who will be crowned Junior Bake Off champion? This cannot end well. Done. Baking powder. The BAFTA goes to Junior Bake Off Production Team. children's TV and we have probably about £3.50 to make it uh, but we rely on everybody's passion uh, to do it and everybody does do it with their whole heart and Junior Bake Off is, is nothing more than that. I would like to thank Cheryl, I'd like to thank Hugh, uh, I would also like to thank every member of the team and they know who they are and it was genuinely heartfelt uh, but I also would like to thank the goddess Mary Berry uh, James Martin, who joined us on this, he was an absolute king, and the wonder that is Aaron Craze. But the big thing is, <laughs> uh, but the big thing is, to the junior bakers, without their passion, we would have no programme. So, on their behalf, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Okay, so we're here with some of the junior bake-off production team who've just won the BAFTA for entertainment. Um, did you see this coming? Are you kidding? <laughs> not at all. Not even slightly. We were just. No, we didn't. Uh, no, not even slightly. It's absolutely overwhelming and totally thrilling. To use a painful baking analogy. <laughs> go on. And I'm going to go there. Is Good. it a bit like mixing all the ingredients together, oh, put it in the oven, and you just hope? You oh. just hope that it comes out looking like, uh, like a BAFTA. Is that what you want? I hope you don't have a soggy not bottom. Really. No. <laughs> no, because the other thing is, right, I'm sure everyone else has said it, is you, you sit there and you're against lots of other amazing people that have done an incredible job. Yeah, proper, and so proper you, good shows, yeah, yeah, proper good shows that you're up against. And so you're just, you're sat in there genuinely going, nah, don't be ridiculous against that lot. And then someone goes, uh, when Mylene said it, and I was like, nah, shut your face. <laughs> you didn't say that to no, her, did you? No. <laughs> no. Oh, oh I may have done. <laughs> Although when you win a BAFTA, you can be impertinent like that. <laughs> and people will just so. allow it. Yeah, Thank you, by the so. way, for shooting down his terrible baking metaphor. Yeah, I'm, don't I'm glad that you did that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, it, it was poorly time, them. wasn't it? It, yeah, it sunk in the middle. <laughs> Oh, wow. On that note, are you going to be celebrating this win with some cake? Of course. Definitely. No. Good, good. Well, congratulations. Like yes. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you later for the cake. Yeah. Well done again, guys. Thank Brilliant you very work. much. Congrats. Thank you so much. Thank you.